we shall now display the details using modal dialog we shall do this lecture in two parts and uh, let's see at least what we have at present then we'll discuss our strategy for the display using modal dialog this is our display at present if we click on details we are taken to a different page and the content is displayed there what we want is that when this details is clicked a pop-up dialog should appear showing all the details here this is what our objective is at present let us study how we can implement this consider this this is our display at present details 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 and some other data in this table what we want is that when the user clicks this details button a pop-up should show in our first step what we'll do is we'll show the pop-up but not the data inside it we'll first of all study how to display how to display a pop-up the minimal display so what I'm speaking is mostly taken from the jQuery website but in a crystallized form to show a dialog we need two things number one you need the function that will be called and number two the dive or the element which could be dive or anything else also that will actually be presented as a dialog so for example if details is clicked then the inner HTML of this dive ABC will appear as a pop-up here and the user can close it by clicking this close button so at we need two things to show a pop-up dialog the first thing is a JavaScript function that will be called immediately when this is clicked and second a tag that will consist of some inner HTML in uh, suppose this is clicked now here this code has to run which searches for this dive this should be hash dlg and calls a function called dialog on it the moment this function is called the inner html of this div tag that is shown inside a pop-up dialog it is possible to specify properties on this plugin like model true so when you put model true it will be shown as a modal dialog by modal dialog we mean that when it is shown you have to dismiss it first before interacting with the page below it the page below it will appear in a gray color so that you can't interact with it so uh, this is the whole process about showing a dialog now uh, for this you will need to include certain bundles also so let me first of all come to those bundles and then we'll proceed with the steps for showing this dialog the file you are seeing is layout.cshtml our bundles have to be put into this let us see what are to be added first of all we have to add the bundle for themes by base by CSS now what is this if you come to our app underscore start 